he is bringing a message to uh, Ezekiel. And watch what he tell Ezekiel to do here. Go ahead and read. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. So now he's telling, hey, I'm getting ready to speak unto you, son of man. I'm getting ready to speak to you, Ezekiel. Go ahead and read. And the spirit entered into me. And then when he spoke to him, what happened? The spirit. spirit entered into him. In other words, the word yeah. entered into him. Go ahead and read. When he spake unto me and set me upon my feet, that I heard him that spake unto me. So what was it? What did it go into? It was the word of God that went in him. Because the angels, they bring the word of God. Yes. But it went inside him. That is the spirit that fills you up. Go ahead and read. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation uh -huh. that hath rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me. They have always violated my laws and broke my commandments. The same way they're doing today, sisters and brothers. You know, the children of God, they say they're children of God, but they are always violating God's laws and breaking his commandments. Haven't anything changed today, sisters and brothers? No, sir. Go ahead and read. Even unto this very day. Uh, and I'm telling you, even unto this very day. Go ahead and read. For they are impudent, uh -huh. children, and stiff-hearted. Now, this is a stiff-hearted people. Nobody want to keep any rules of God. Go ahead and read. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord go, God. Go ahead. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there hath been a prophet among them. All right, now skip on down to uh, verse uh, 7 and read, man. And thou shalt speak my words unto them. And he said, what you going to do? You going to speak my words unto them. You gonna give them my spirit. Go ahead and read. Whether they will hear, or whether they will forbear, for they are most rebellious. But thou, son of man, hear what I say unto thee. He said, "You hear what I say unto thee." Go ahead and read. Be not thou rebellious like that rebellious now, house. Now you don't be like these other guys. You listen to what I say and obey me. Go ahead and read. Open thy mouth and eat that I give. Now he said, "Open your mouth and you eat what I'm gonna give you." Go ahead and read. And when I looked, behold. And hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein. Go ahead. And he spread it before me, and it was written within and without. And there was written, there was written therein lamentations and mourning and woe. Go on on into the third chapter. Go ahead. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest. Eat this roll and go speak unto the house of Israel. What did he say? He said, Eat this roll, this book. Would that mean chomp down on this book? No, it mean read these words and, and, and eat it. Put it in your mind. Put these words in your mind. Go ahead and read. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that roll. Uh -huh. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. Because this word, this word of God is sweet yes, as honey. Sir. The word of God is sweet as honey, sisters and brothers. Go ahead and read. And he said unto me, son of man, go, get thee unto the house of Israel and speak with my words unto them. But what did he do? He went and spoke the word of God unto them. That, that's what was on the book, sister. So the spirit that went in them was the word of God, sisters and brothers. Now, let's give you an example. Let's go to Acts the second chapter. Acts the second chapter. Acts the second chapter. Here in Acts, the second chapter, this is the day of the Pentecost, when, uh, when uh, the apostles was waiting for the Holy Ghost to come down on them. And also, this day of Pentecost, it, is be, it was supposed to be kept throughout all generations. That is why he, he, us here on uh, House of Jacob, we keep that. We keep the uh, uh, day of Pentecost, because that is one of God's holy commandments. Because those days represent something, and we'll give you that lesson at another time. Uh, second, uh, uh, Acts, the second chapter, and we're going to pick it up at verse 1. Acts 2 and 1. When you get there, brother, go ahead and read. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. You mean to tell me they wasn't in the upper room? No, sir. No, they wasn't in the upper room. They was uh, all in one accord in one place. Go ahead and read. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. Now, you got this, 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 this sound coming from heaven like a rushing wind. Go ahead and read. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. Uh -huh. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of a fire. And it set upon each of them. And we understand these are angels. Ain't they all ministering flame and spirit? Yes. And we understand that spirits move like the wind. 
And we, we can't go through all that today, but if you take if you stay tuned to this program, we explain all that to you. But these were angels that sat upon them. Go ahead and read. And they were fee- all filled with the Holy Ghost. And then they were filled with the Holy Ghost, or we can say they were filled with the Holy Spirit. And what did they do when they were filled with the Holy Spirit? Go ahead and read. And began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And all right, so the Spirit gave them up. So this angel was telling them what to say, and they were filled with the Spirit. So the angel put the Word of God in them. Go ahead and read. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. Go ahead. Now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak. In his own language. Because you had all them Israelites from all them different other nations there keeping the Pentecost. And they heard that all them, they heard the apostles speaking in that language. And they was wondering what was going on. But the angels was giving them utterance, was telling them what to say. Mm-hmm. That is how they heard them in their voice. Yes, Let's see what they said. Skip on down to uh, verse 14 and read. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up because his voice. Because they thought the, the, the apostles was drunk. They knew they wasn't drunk. This is what they were saying. Go ahead and read. And said unto them, Ye men of Judea, and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you, and hearken to my words. Uh For these are not drunken, as ye suppose, seeing it is but the third hour of the day. It was only 9 o'clock in the morning. They ain't drunk. They ain't drunk at all. But this is what they got in. Let's see what they start saying. Go ahead and read. But this is that which he, which was spoken by the prophet Joel. Uh-huh. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your, and your young men shall see visions. And your old men shall dream dreams. So now all the, all the spirit is telling them, do it is speaking the word of God. Mm-hmm. Because that is what Peter starts speaking. He starts speaking the word of God. So the Holy Ghost, which is a confidence, he started telling them what the Lord had told them. Brung remembers it all what the Lord had told them. The Holy Ghost is only doing what it's supposed to do. Go ahead and read. And on my servants and on my out handmaids, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. So he's going to pour out their spirit, and what they're going to do? Prophesy. They are going to prophesy. In other words, they're going to speak the word of God. That is what the Comforter do. That is what the Holy Ghost do. It give, it brings you the Word of God. So if anybody telling you that they have the Holy Ghost on them or the Holy Comforter is on them, and they are not, and they are telling you to walk contrary to the Word of God, that is not the Holy Ghost, sisters and brothers. Because if the Holy Ghost, if somebody had a Holy Ghost on them, they are only going to say what God has said. But if somebody is telling you to walk contrary to the word of God, they do not have the Holy Ghost, sisters and brothers. And that's just a fact. Go ahead and read. And I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. Uh The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood. That's good. That's good. Now let's go look at it a little further. Acts the 10th chapter. We go on to Acts the 10th chapter. Here in Acts the 10th chapter, the Lord is getting ready to open the doors to the Gentiles here. So he's going to come to this Italian brother named Cornelius. Now Cornelius, he was a righteous brother. He kept the commandments of God. He eschewed evil, and he prayed to the Lord always. So the Lord, uh, you know, he accepted his prayers and everything. Now the Lord is going to do something for him. Acts 10 and 1. Acts 10 and 1. When you get there, brother, go ahead and read. There was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of the band called the Italian band, uh-huh. a devout man and one that feared God with all his house. And so if he feared God, that means he was obedient to God. Yes. Go ahead and read. Which gave much alms to the people and prayed to God always. And he always prayed to God. He always did good for people. Go ahead and read. He saw in a vision, evidently about the ninth hour of the day, an angel of God coming to in to him and saying unto him, Cornelius. So now we got this angel of God, which we can call the Holy Ghost, right? Yes. He came to Cornelius. Go ahead and read. And when he looked on him, he was afraid and said, What is it, Lord? And he said unto him, Thy prayers and thine arms are come up for a memorial before God. Because all your righteousness and everything have come up before me, before God as a memorial. Now, I'm going to send somebody to you for that. Go ahead and read. Now, and now, send men to Joppa and call for one Simon, whose surname is Peter. He lodgeth with one Simon a tanner, whose house he is by the seaside. He shall tell thee what thou oughtest 